Welcome back to the Maker Show. Uh, as promised, I'm going to go ahead and cover how to install the gerbil um, onto a um, Arduino Uno. So uh, this is a really good tutorial right here. It's www.aquickcnc.com slash wiki slash gerbil and uh, gerbil and um, you can see this is the uh, the installation instructions right here uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and perform those and uh, and that's going to be uh, get us to where the uh, the gerbils on the uh, Arduino, and we can go ahead and see it uh, with the control program. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to go ahead and click on this link right here, GitHub download, and then if you come down here. This is the master branch right here, and this is actually the file you want. And that is definitely a hex file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and try this. I'm going to go ahead and save target as. I'm going to make that a dot h file and then save that to my desktop okay that's this I'm just going to look at it okay and it's coming up as a hex file okay and uh, I've already done a video on uh, installing the Arduino IDE uh, from the Arduino website, you can find that video on my uh, on my channel. Uh, then the next step is going to be to plug the Arduino and the USB port on the computer. Okay, this is uh, right here is the board that we're going to be programming. This is a project board I picked up uh, a few years ago, uh, along with a bunch of other kit, kind of a experimenter kit so this is the uh, uno that I'm going to use and this will be great because I can just screw this down in the case and you're good to go I've got the breadboard over here uh, that I can uh, do experiments on inside without you know good place uh, basically a big terminal block so I like that so this is the one we're going to go ahead and use in the uh, CNC machine Alright, the next thing we have to do is, uh, in the instructions, is check see if that uh, showed up. And as you can see, Arduino Uno on COM4, so we're good to go on that. Alright, the next step is to go to the uh, http colon slash slash xloader dot r-u-s-s-e-m-o-t-t-o dot com. And that's this hex loader here. And this is the uh, download right there. So I'm going to double click on that. And I'm going to save as. I'm going to do downloads. Download it. And we're going to go ahead and open it. And I'm going to extract the files. Just going to make it in uh, downloads, extract. Okay, and this is our X loader. So, um, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to uh, drag this out to the desktop here. There we go. So, now we can go ahead and load the. Uh, the uh, the hex file onto the uh, Arduino with this program. So now we have X loader. We're going to go ahead and double click on X loader. Double click on that, and it's going to give you a, a, a warning. Uh, we know we want it, so 
and then we're going to go ahead and choose Uno and then COM point 4 which we uh, know we found and then hopefully that's the right baud rate um, actually let's take a look at that real quick so the way you do that go to system properties and your device manager and then network and ports and then you select on uh, the Arduino Uno and then you click on port size. See, it's right now it's at 9600 baud. Let's go ahead and bump that up to the 15200 to match that. And then we should be good to go. So go OK. OK, so now we got the COM4 and then the 1500 or 115 200. That would be 115,200. <laughs> so uh, then we're going to go ahead and find our hex file and put that in. So now we have the X loader. We're going to go ahead and double click on X loader. Double click on that, and it's going to give you a, a, a warning. Uh, we know we want it. So, and then we're going to go ahead and choose Uno and then COM point 4 which we uh, know we found and then hopefully that's the right baud rate um, actually let's take a look at that real quick so the way you do that go to system properties and your device manager and then network and ports and then you select on uh, the Arduino Uno and then you click on port size. See, it's right now it's at 9600 baud. Let's go ahead and bump that up to the 15200 to match that. And then we should be good to go. So go OK. And then you can double check it, port settings, and it's right. Here it would be. Okay, so now we got the COM4 and then the 1500 or 115 200, that would be 115,200. <laughs> so uh, then we're going to go ahead and find our hex file and put that in. So I moved uh, over the gerbil master here, and I'm just going to click here and then. select that and I'm going to hit open and that's going to be the hex file and then I'm going to hit upload click there we're going to go back to desktop we're going to select that H file for some reason I won't show it to you there and click that open and then upload you can see obviously the, uh, the transmit and receive lights are flashing and once they stop then the uh, the program is loaded onto the uh, Arduino Uno so then we're good okay I'm going to open Arduino again the Arduino IDE. I'm going to bring that over. Hit Tools. I set that to the Uno. That to port 4. And I'm going to hit the Serial Monitor. And oh, there it is. This proves it's working because it repeated back that it's J. And this is the uh, configuration of it right now so we know it's working so that I could put it into the machine now 
and have it basically work. This is the, the last step of getting the firmware onto the machine. So now we have the firmware on the machine. It's uh, repeating back with the serial monitor. Uh, we know that that's the correct program. And we're uh, good to go and we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, show you the uh, uh, those programs actually feed in the uh, G code to the Arduino. So that's what we're going to go ahead and cover next. Okay, next you want to go to github.com uh, slash winder slash universal G code sender. And this is the program right here uh, that will send the G code to that controller. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the the latest stable build and then we're going to go ahead and save as choose that uh, I'm going to actually send it to downloads save open and extract all files and I'm going to send it to the desktop So now we have, all right, so I, I extracted the files and put them into a folder. So we are going to uh, click on the jar file. All right, guys, uh, I ended up not having Java for some reason on my computer. So if uh, that file doesn't run for any reason, you're probably uh, don't have Java downloaded, so just go to java.com, download the latest version. Uh, once I did that, it ran just fine, it came up, uh, I changed the port to 4 and then the baud rate, and then you can see the console right here. Um, we're just going to go to, uh, there's the machine control right there. Okay, so you got to press open and then your machine control, it will work and we're starting to write G code. Now if this was attached to the machine right now, I'd go ahead and get movement out of the stepper motor. So that's going to be, I'm going to wrap it up right here and then we're going to go ahead and install it into the, the uh, machine controller and uh, when I come back you sh I'll have it uh, on the machine controller. So I'm going to go ahead and call that a video. Uh, we got the uh, the firmware installed on the Arduino Uno and the Universal G Code Sender set up so that we can go ahead and communicate with it. Uh, so uh, if you like the video, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much.